Hi there! Welcome to the Thinking Cap LMS. This is going to be a tour of the administrative view. We are going to walk through the basics and learn how each of the areas work. Let's get started. Welcome to the admin view. As an administrator, this is where you'll be spending majority of your time when you're managing activities, users and more. In this tour, we are going to be concentrating on three specific areas. The main menu tabs. This area covers activities, users, reports, discussion forums and more. This area covers the personal account menu, job queue, alerts and additional items. And the branch menu. This area covers functions that will affect the current branch and its children. Let's start off by reviewing the main menu tab starting off with the dashboard tab. The dashboard is an overall view of the branch. You can see the metrics for the branch, the URL for the branch, pinned activities and pinned reports. The dashboard is tied to your account and not the branch. Any activities or reports pinned to this page will be individual to the user. The activity tab will cover management of all activities for the branch. You can search for any existing activity by inputting an activity code or title into the search bar or by manually searching on the page. If you begin to type out the title or code of the activity, it will suggest activities that match what you have typed into the search bar. If you click on the filter button, you can see three ways that you can filter the displayed activities. First is by activity type, the second is based on the status of the activity, and third is based on the activity origin. By clicking on any of the toggles, you can either disable them or enable them to appear on the activities page. You can create an activity or multiple activities by using the Manage Activities pull down menu. Clicking on Add Activity will bring up the list of available activity types, including custom activity types and learning paths. You can also add an equivalency from this location, as well as being able to add or modify multiple activities. Now let's get into how the listed menus for each individual activity will work. The metrics pull down menu will list a summary of the activity, running individual activity reports, reviewing activity logs, and additional functions. The manage pull down menu will allow you to enroll or manage users. Some of the other tasks that you can perform range from sending an announcement to enrolled users and review survey results. Settings includes more than 40 discrete settings that define an activity. Some of the functions you can perform in this area are the ability to assign notifications, manage enrollment settings, apply certificates, credits, and badges. The Users tab will allow you to manage all users on the branch. You can either search for a user using the search bar or look for them manually by scrolling through the page. Clicking on Manage Users allows you to create a user, create multiple users, or modify multiple users as well. You can also send an announcement to all or some branch members, which will function like a push notification. You may come across two icons that appear beside a user's account. One will be an alarm icon for learners who are blocked from receiving notifications, or a lock icon for learners who have been blocked from logging in. You can make changes to existing users from the Users tab, update their security, view their overall user transcript, and additional settings. Everything on this tab will consist of user management and allow you to choose if any changes need to be made. The Media tab is where you'll find all of your media content. This can range from marquees, studio content, and pages. All of your media will be found here and can be reused. Reports shows you your individual activity and branch reports. Any reports you have created, whether it was on an activity or the branch, will be listed on this page. This is also the place where you can request branch-wide reports. You can also download, pin, delete, or schedule reports from this tab. This tab allows you to create a new discussion forum that will be available for the entire branch. You can also view other forums that are assigned to you as a moderator through here. You'll be able to manage posts, create, and delete posts from this location. You will also be able to see any activity-specific discussion forums that you've been assigned to. Studio is a built-in authoring tool available to create rapid e-learning packages. The Studio tab displays the list of e-learning courses that have been created using the built-in browser authoring tool.
Personal account settings allows you to manage your own account, log out and switch to the learner view. You also have access to a help button, the ability to view logs which displays all interaction taking place for the branch, the job queue which lists if there is a current job waiting or in progress, the alerts button. This is where all the workflow items that need your attention are found. And the branch selector. This allows you to view any branches that you are an administrator of. Clicking on this icon will display a search bar, allowing you to enter a specific branch that you're looking for or all of the branches that you are an administrator of. The branch that you are currently on is listed beside the icon. The menus we have covered so far deal with day-to-day -day access. For more system-wide settings and initial setup, navigate to the branch menu. This will expand and list settings that affect the entire branch. Let's review what each of these sections do and some of the functions that they will provide. This area allows you to manage the branch settings, create custom fields, manage activity presets, and sharing options. Resources will range from creating and managing feedback surveys and assessment questions. Security includes creating and managing administrative roles, single sign-on, and page security options. Experience includes the ability to manage the overall look and feel of the learner view. This includes branding options, creating pages, changing terms via the nomenclature, and page redirects. If a branch does not have its own URL, experience will not show up as a menu item. Commerce includes the ability to manage any purchasing settings for the branch. This will range from managing payment processes, passes, and subscriptions. Communications will cover all aspects of the LMS that communicate with the learner. This ranges from automated notifications, user and supervisor digest, forum settings, and additional functions. Certification deals with badges, certificates, and credits that can be awarded for activities. This area updates the branch settings that then can be used for an individual activity. Integration is where you'll find settings that allow you to link to enterprise applications, user synchronization, and full access to underlying APIs. Under the Advanced tab, you can add, move, or delete a branch, delete unused activities, or import learner records. You'll find tools to manage the branch's children and other advanced settings from this location. And that brings us to the end of our tour. You should now be comfortable with navigating the admin view.